Okay, this video will be revolving functions, in other words, working with inputs and outputs as well as input tables. This will be a slightly longer video for that purpose as it combines factors such as solving equations, cube numbers, uh, square numbers, and so forth. So um, in some worksheets, you'll see something that looks almost like a machine, if you will, with a box system in the middle, and then you'll have values on your left followed by values on your right. Okay, and this is um, evident in grades, if I'm not mistaken, three through to grade nine, obviously the level then um, expanding as we go along or rather growing. So on the left hand side, we have what's called our input values. On the right, we've got our, um, let me just change here. So input, apologies for that. We normally refer to as our x values can differ but most commonly are x values output would be on the right hand side it's normally represented by y okay and then what takes place in the middle is known as your rule um or your application or calculation or processing but most commonly your um rule so your rules what you'll get first in most cases so if I tell you, or rather show to say, right, plus 2, that's a very simple one. Because then if I had 2 plus 2, I get an output of 4. That's quite easy. No issue about that. But if we make it slightly more difficult in a certain right, okay, you have to take your x value. Remember, x is your input. You have to take your x value. You have to times it with 2. Please remember, this is the same as saying x times 2. 2x two is x times 2. Um, and, you sorry, and you have to add 3. And that will give you y. Now we're introducing our learners more to an algebraic approach. So let's say on the left-hand side, you have got an uh, input value of 4. And I'm asking you to calculate it out, its output. I would suggest work below it and then substitute. So take your rule and recopy it. So 2x plus 3 equals y. Where there's an x, you replace it with its input because that's why we call it the input value. So 2 bracket 4, or you could have said 2 times 4, plus 3 equals y. And then according to bot mass, I have to do brackets first. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 equals y. Therefore, 11 equals y. Your y value is your output value. So that's where it comes from. Um, similarly, you can have the following scenario. So if you have your uh, rule block, and I tell you um, x to the... Sorry, let's just correct that y is equal to um, the cube root of x uh, minus 2. Okay, it gets slightly more complicated, but we'll take it one step at a time. And let's say I give you an input of 27. Work out below. So y, and this obviously be y on your right hand side, um, y is equal to 3 to the cube root of x minus 2, which is the same as saying y is equal to the cube root of 27, because your x replaces your input, um, minus 2. Now, if you're not too sure, this is the same as saying what number times itself three times equals to 27. That's what a cube root means. So basically the opposite of calculating a cube. So what number times itself three times gives you 27? It's not what number times by three, it's not the same. So if I say two times two times two, two times two is four, four times two is eight. So that's not 27. So three times three times three, three times three is nine times three is 27. Therefore, three is your answer. So y is equal to three minus two, so y is equal to 1.
and that's how we solve that. Let's say we've got our right hand side. So if I give you another rule block, and I tell you, <coughs> apologies, and I tell you um, on the right hand side you've got the number eight, and um, to get the input, which is on your left hand side, your x values on your left and your y is on your right. To get back to your input value, the rule that applied was um, y is equal to um, x, sorry, x to the power of 2 plus 4. And now you have to go reverse gear. So when we go reverse gear, I first do all my opposites of addition and subtraction followed by opposites of divide and times, followed by opposites of squares, square roots, cubes, and cube roots. So in other words, I first need to do the inverse of the opposite of plus 4, which is minus 4. So um, y gets replaced by that. So 8 is equal to x squared plus 4. So now I'm going back to solving an equation. And there's a previous video that I've done on this. Remember, when we solve equations, so something goes to the across the equal sign, it changes to its opposite. So just to refresh quickly, minus changes to plus, plus changes to minus, times changes to divide, divide changes to times, um, squares change to square roots, cubes changes to cube roots. So that's very important to note. Right. And when we do this, according to what I wrote here, we do it in that fashion from top to bottom. So I first take my plus across. So plus changes to minus. So 8 minus 4 is equal to x squared. So 4 would be equal to x squared. The opposite of x squared is um, square root. So the square root of 4, the 2 doesn't need to be um, evident there. The square root of 4 is equal to x, so 2 is equal to x. Correct mathematically, you would need to write the um, negative or positive value of 2 is equal to x because we're taking a square root across. However, in grade 7, this is not needed. So in other words, your input value is then 2. Then our third option is to calculate the uh, um, rules. So let's say, for instance, I give you a machine and I tell you to, you've got an input of 2, you had an output of 5. You had an input of 4, you got an output of of let's say for instance um let me just think quickly um nine and you had an input of three followed by an output of um that so we can't just jump off by saying right two right two plus three equals five because that does not apply to the other equations three plus three gives you six not seven four plus three gives you seven not nine so you cannot apply plus 3 as your rule. So here we have to get creative. And this is where seeing patterns in maths is very evident and needed. So start off by saying, right, okay, so I can't add, I can't subtract, let's play around of times. So if I times by 2, 2 times 2 is 4, I get to 5. Okay, so it doesn't work. 3 times 2 is 6, I need to get to 7. No. 4 times 2 is 8, I need to get a 9. But you can also add on something. So you can say, right, 2 times 2 is 4. What I need to get, sorry, what I need to go from 4 to 5, I need to add 1. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So therefore, your rule is y is equal to, remember your x, your rule and your y. So your rule is then y is equal to x times 2 plus 1. This could also be written as 2x plus 1.